The whole issue is that this is a French sconce, which is narrow, like a lot of antique sconces. The back plate is very narrow, it doesn't meet code. The code is that the gem box in the wall should be this wide. There are narrower boxes that are used for switches, but once it's this wide, it actually protrudes. So the point is, I've designed a plate that has this kind of step detail that Ray is going to make, that is and going to be plated like this satin nickel that will actually hide this box. Okay, so here's the story. Okay, so this of course is the gem box that I've got, okay? Mm -hmm. And as it so happens, just to confuse things, in the one wall, it's just put in like this, and then the other side it's put in like that. Okay, so these were the holes that I... Can they turn that? No, you're going to have to make two plates, one you're going to drill the holes this way, one the other way. So the idea is we'll make one plate that'll fit the box with two screw holes going this way and this way, and one plate with the two screw holes going this way and this way. That's A. And it'll attach to the box, and the box fits just like that, the way I drew it like that. So it actually fits quite nicely. Okay? Okay. Okay, now... But on the other box, they have it this way. No, I have it this way, like this. Oh, these are just different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a problem. So it's like a little yeah, exactly. no, no, no. Okay. okay. That's number one. No. So do we need to expand it? No, no. I'm quite happy with the way it is. It fits. This is the, I got the box actually from the electrician. Okay, so here I've got this little bar, which is typical in these old fixtures, is this what they call for a French hook, Correct. which is this. Mm -hmm. So the idea what I'd like to do is is on the plate for you to attach or to weld or to attach this French hook like this mm -hmm. and put the holes. So this hook is over here like this, and then these holes. I'm expecting to see this double plate like this with these two lines, mm -hmm. this attached to it, a big hole to get the wiring through in the middle, and three, another two holes for this. Okay. That's all I'm expecting. That's easy enough for me. So what I thought I was doing, I would leave you these two, and this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should leave you this, because this has got the, got the height of where this is. Yes, I must leave you this. You must. No. Okay. How close or you is, can measure. How close is your drawing? My drawing is it's pretty accurate. Actually, that dotted line represents where that is. No, you're right on. I'm pretty right on. The question is, what I didn't have at the time was the location of that bar to determine where that French would go. But maybe I can just work that out with you right now. You can. Okay. So why don't we do that? So um, we got it exactly right. As long as they're set, inch and three eighths. And obviously you're straight, but I mean, let's go yeah. yeah. But, um, just, just checking here. I, yeah, All just right. to give me the height. Okay. A little bit neurotic, yeah. And what yeah. I most likely do is I would not weld that on, but I'll uh, drill and tap this and screw that on. Great. That way, if there is any point in the future or now yeah. that we need to move anything, oh, okay, great. we have room for... Okay, great. Okay, so the way it's going to actually attach to the wall is from these two screws. Okay. And then obviously there'll be a center hole in the middle to get the wiring through. And that's something up here. I don't need it at all. This is unfair. Sure, it's not going to no. tip forward or anything? If this is strong enough and this is attached to this, okay. it won't tip forward. Okay. I can't because actually this is on enough holes to the wall, so I, can't, I don't want to be drilling through.